Mahdi Devran was the concubine of the Ottoman Sultan, Suleiman the Magnificent, and the mother of Shahzade Mustafa, the eldest surviving son of the reigning Sultan, and the first in the line to ascend the imperial throne. She was the chief consort of Sultan Suleiman before his succession to the throne, until Harem Sultan came into his life. Later, Mahi Devron just retained the status of the mother of Suleiman's eldest son. Today in this video, you'll get to know the 10 interesting facts about Mahi Devron Sultan's life that you may not know about. Number 1, Mahi Devran Sultan was born in 1500. Like every woman in the harem, a little is known about the early life of Mahi Devran. Her birth date is just based on estimations. According to some historians, she was born somewhere in 1500. There are many controversies in the theories of her origin and historians argued about her ethnic background. Some say that either she was an Albanian, or Circassian origin. And some other unidentified sources describe her from Montenegro origin. In some contemporary documents, the name of Mahi Devran's father was given as Abdullah, Abjuramon, or Abdul Menon, and according to those, it was suggested that she was a slave from an unknown origin, who converted as Muslim later. Number 2, the meaning of Mahi Devran is the one who is always beautiful. In Persian, the meaning of Mahi Devran's name is the one who is always beautiful, or the one whose beauty never fades, or beauty of the times. According to some historians, her full name was Gulbaha Mahi Devran, most probably because of her beauty. Where Gulbahar in Turkish and Persian translates, as Gul meaning rose, and Bahar meaning spring, thus Gulbahar means, rose of the spring. Number 3, she was among the 17 women of Suleiman's harem, when he was still a prince. Suleiman was the governor of Manisa before ascending to the throne, and Mahi Devran was among the 17 women of his harem. She was not a highly ranked consort at the beginning, as she earned four aspers a day, along with two other concubines, while three others consort were earning five aspers a day. While at Manisa, in 1515, possibly at age of 15 or 16, Mahi Devran gave birth to her first child, Mustafa. When Suleiman's father, Sultan Selim I died in 1520, he moved to the capital of the Ottoman Empire, Istanbul, to succeed his father. His family and court joined him a few weeks later. In 1521, Sultan Suleiman lost his two other sons, a nine-year-old, Mahmud, and a toddler, Murad. Mustafa then became the eldest, and chief of his princely generation. Mahi Devran was the mother of the only surviving prince of the reigning Sultan, Shahid Mustafa. So according to Ottoman traditions, Mahi Devran became Suleiman's Bashkadan, a rank equivalent to the main chief, or favorite consort, and the second most powerful ranking title in the harem, after the Queen Mother. Number 4, Mahi Devran did not hold the title of Sultan. Though she is referred to as Mahi Devran Sultan, in popular history and touristic literature, or in TV series but in actual, she did not hold the title of Sultan. Another reality is that, 
By some diplomats of that time, she was often stated as the first wife of Sultan Suleiman, but in actual, they were never married. While Harem became first, the favorite, and later the legally wedded wife of Sultan Suleiman, and was given the title of Sultan. Before the origin of the royal title of Heiski Sultan for Harem, all consorts in the Ottoman harem had carried the title, as Katun, which means lady. Same like, by many authors of history, she was mentioned as Mahidevran Hatun, or Mahidevran Kadan, like the other consorts in the harem had the title of Hatun. During the reign of Suleiman, in the 16th century, the title for a mother and the favorite or chief consorts of Sultan, was changed from Hatun to Sultan. Hence it is possible, that Mahidevran also got the title Sultan. Number 5, Mahidevran Rivalry with Harem Sultan When Mahidevran came to Istanbul after Sultan Suleiman's succession, she expected to be treated like the Empress, as she was the mother of the only heir, and to live a loving and happy life with Suleiman and her son, but her joyous life soon came to an end. In the Istanbul harem, Mahidevran had faced a very influential rival, Roxolana who later known as Harem. She diverted all the attention of Sultan Suleiman toward her, and he stopped paying attention to Mahidevran. Harem Sultan soon became the favorite, and later the Heiski, and then the legal wife of Sultan Suleiman. Harem gave birth to her first son Mehmed in 1521, and then Salem in 1524. And this was the end of Mahidevran's status of being the mother of the Sultan's only son. Some Turkish and foreign historian writers have written some fictitious stories with dramatic scenes, but no one knows exactly whether these stories hold any truth. It is said that, with the passing time, the bitter rivalry between these two women became more intense than ever. Once they fought so bad, and Mahi Devon beat Harem, or Harem let herself be beaten. Whatever the situation was, but the result was bitter for Mahi Devran, because as punishment, Suleiman started to ignore her. Number 6, she was the head of her son Mustafa's princely harem. According to old Turkish tradition, all princes have to work as governors in their princely provinces as part of their training. In around 1533, Shad Mustafa was appointed as the governor of Manisa and as Brotman tradition, and Mahi Devran also left Istanbul to accompany her son. On the contrary, Harem Sultan never left the capital, and always stayed in the top Kapi palace in Istanbul while her sons were sent to govern their princely provinces as Sanjak Bey. Mahi Devran was the head of the princely harem of Shad Mustafa. She played a great role during the education of her son as governor. An ambassador of his time described that, Mustafa founded a wonderful and glorious court, which is not less than that of his father, and his mother was with him as his most trustable advisor, to instruct him in how to make himself loved by his people, as well as she was the chief of his harem. According to reports of the Venetian ambassador, Mustafa was the whole joy in his mother's life, and Mahi Devran was a highly effective figure in her son's court. Mustafa became very popular in the region under the guidance of his mother. Foreign observers of the Ottomans, especially the ambassadors, followed the Ottoman dynastic politics closely. Their comments were remarkable about Mahi Devran's vital role as a prince's mother, and of her necessary devotion to this welfare. She renovated the mosque founded by Suleiman's mother, Hofsa Sultan at Manisa. She also established many charitable foundations in Konya, and Amasur. In 1543, right after the sudden death of Prince Mehmed, the war between these women started up again. Mahi Devon and Mustafa lost one more time and were sent to Amasya, and Salem, the second son of Harem, became the new governor of Manisa.
Number 7, Mahi Devran endeavoured to protect until the very end of her son's life. By 1546, three more sons of Sultan Suleiman were in the field of succession. The rivalry and competition became evident among the four princes. Mustafa was a very popular prince, and performs great feats. He was a talented fighter even from his childhood, and much loved by the Janissaries, other governors, and his people. He was very intelligent, and had a strong political education. Furthermore, he was famous for his generosity, and fair decisions. An ambassador wrote that, it is impossible to describe that how much his people love him, everyone wants him to be succeeded the throne. Mahdi Devran endeavoured until the very end of her son's life, to protect him from his political rivals, and most probably, she maintained a network of informants in order to do so. Sultan Suleiman has noticed the power of his eldest son. In many situations, he was misinformed about his son, so, he had started to see him as a great threat to his rule. The rumors and speculations said that, both Harem and the Grand Vizier Ostem Pasha, turned him against Mustafa. However, there is no evidence of such a conspiracy. Mustafa was accused on charges of planning to dethrone his father, which was never proved later. Mahi Devon tried hard to protect her only son from the assassination, but she could not prevent his death. According to historians, Mustafa had to attend his father during the campaign against the Safavid Persia War, in 1553. Mahdi Devran had sent a messenger warning to inform him about his father's plan of his execution. But unfortunately, Mustafa ignored the message, as he had consistently refused to notice the warnings of his friends and his mother. In 1553, at the age of 38, he was executed in the battle camp, on the orders of his father. Number 8, she was the last concubine to retire to Bursa. Mahi Devon lived a troubled life after the execution of her son. She tried to save her only surviving grandson, but she failed again. Little Prince Mehmed, who was named after Mustafa's half-brother, was also executed at just the age of six. Mahi Devon then moved to Bursa where her son was buried. The common people gave her great respect, while they abused her em as they think she was the cause of Mustafa's death. She was the last concubine to retire to Bursa. She faced miserable conditions and lived in great poverty. After Mustafa's death, her royal salary was ended. She was even not able to pay the rent of the house in which she lived. She struggled hard for building a proper tomb for her son. Number 9, her royal income was restored under the reign of Salem II. Mahi Devon mostly suffered from a shortage of money until the end of Sultan Suleiman's reign. Her conditions got improved after his death when her debts were paid by Mustafa's half-brother, and new Sultan of the Ottoman Empire, Sultan Salem II. He tried to secure her financially. Sultan Salem not only restored her pension, but increased it, and also ordered to purchase a new house for her. At last, after this Mahi Devran had enough money to continue the work for her son's tomb. Number 10, she was died in 1581. Outliving the Sultan Suleiman and all of his children, Mahi Devran eventually died in 1581, in Bursa. She was buried in her son Mustafa's tomb. Though, she was considered by some historians as the most beautiful woman in Turkish history. However, her beauty did not ensure her the fate she deserved. 